Hey Sagittarius, it is CJ here. Welcome to my channel if you're new, welcome back. Nice to connect with your energy today. I hope you're doing great, Saggy. Thank you for all of your love and all of your beautiful support towards me, to each other. Your light shines bright, my love. All right, Saggy, general reading today, as always, not a one-to-one. -one. If you're looking for a one-to-one, -one, a personal reading, all that information is down below, of course. Um, and timeless, it is Saturday, it's October 5th, 2024, um, first, Saturday of the month. Um, okay, we're going to get into your reading and see what's going on. Now, it was interesting, Sag, when I was meditating on your energy. All of a sudden, I'm massaging my shoulders. Kind of goes with what I was picking up. Um, I do feel a lot of you are overworked. I think you guys are sleepy, tired, worn out. Um, I just was getting that energy. I also started yawning, and I'm not tired, personally, myself. Just picking up on your energy, the collective energy. Um, so just my love, friend to friend, us being family here, I think you're going to need a break. I think you need to take a little time out. Now you could be saying to me, you know, CJ, I have so much stuff to get done, so much shit's on my shoulders, I can't afford to take a moment. I get it, Saggy, I totally understand that, but the energy my guides were giving me was that it's almost like necessary for you to almost, um, unplug. That's what I'm feeling, like time to unplug your, unplug from your phone, unplug it even from here, <laughs> but, um... To take a moment, I think things have just been very hectic for a lot of you, and you know that is life. But again, the message was coming through. It wasn't like any pictures or any statement. It was a feeling. The feeling felt like you're pretty bloody tired. So, my love, if that is resonating with you, please promise yourself right here, right now, that over the weekend, if you're working, if you're not working, whatever it is, I know a lot of you are retired as well. Take some time to recharge. Now, depending on where you are in, well, in the world, I'm in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, it's getting darker where I am. So just, this is just a pep talk, babe, that, you know, the light is dimming. We're not having so many hours of daylight anymore. So in that way, we are kind of, kind of going into hibernation. Now, I guess for you on the Southern Hemisphere, depending on how that works for you, I'm not even sure, actually. Um, but nevertheless, it is this kind of darkening out there and we are in October and we have Halloween at the end of the month and so there's just kind of a little bit it, it the season is where the leaves fall right things are dying and we kind of feel it I, I feel it energetically so strong message here for those of you that it resonates with be kind to yourself love yourself up a little extra if you can all right Sag I obviously need a sip of water all of a sudden my mouth got just dry and we're gonna get into it okay so I hope that made sense for those of you that are going, I am tired, I am exhausted. Do whatever you can to even carve out a sweet hour for yourself. All right, Sag. Let's begin. Let's see what spirit has. We're going to open up with my light, seer, light seer's color. No, not light seer's. I don't know what's going on here. Um, this is a secret language of color. I like to use this deck, um, especially on a weekend, because I do feel a lot of us have maybe a little bit more time, maybe a little bit more time to be able to take some time up for ourselves. It's a healing deck, right? It's colors with, um, obviously there's um, a saying on each one. You can use this to meditate on. You can use this to just focus on. Um, take a picture, a screenshot or something if, you, if it relates with you, right? Um, but that's where we're going to open up. It's very healing. So let's begin and see what spirit has for you. All right, spirit. Thank you so much for guiding me in this reading. Sagittarius, October 5th, October 6th, or whenever they come to this reading, 2024, what is the message you have for Sagittarius? Sag, we have black on the bottom. <laughs> wow, okay. Find richness from the dark night. Now, this is number 28. That is a 10. So this can be the Wheel of Fortune energy. can even be the Magician energy if you reduce it down to one. Ultimately, this is energy of your power, right? How you see things. Now, if you're exhausted, isn't that funny? Black. If you're feeling very exhausted, it's going to be hard to see the positivity, positivity that may be around you. You know, when we're tired, overworked, exhausted, put to the limit, it can just be damn near impossible to see anything, any of the blessings. But Spirit's asking you here. It's on the bottom of the deck, so they're saying find richness from the dark night. Okay, let me show this to you. All right, beautiful energy coming through here. You know, even again, this is tapping into taking some time out for yourself, trying to get a good sleep. All of a sudden, they just gave me, okay, thank you, Spirit. They gave me an image of someone putting a, um, holy cow, uh, an, uh, what is it, an eye mask? Yes, thanks, Spirit. Because um, they just showed me, like, on an airplane, putting an eye mask on if you need that. Just kind of like almost like a pampering energy is coming through here. We have the rose next, which is a beautiful color. It is six. 
Six is about balances. Now this is attract a relationship. Now it doesn't mean that you have to have a romantic relationship or any of that, but I'm getting a feeling here with the rose, you know, roses for myself. Um, obviously color has different, different energies to it, different vibrations. But when you think of a rose, rose is about love, right? You know, um, typically the red rose is about love. Again, I'm feeling like this is spirit saying, we love you, Sag. You got to start taking good care of yourself. So I'm not even going to talk about the attracting a relationship because I'm not feeling that at all. Sixes are a balance. So I do feel some of you absolutely need to be, be bringing some balance into your life. Bronze is next, Sag. So strength your, strengthen your body. 14, that is a five. Fives are about change. Do you see what I'm getting here? I, you know... You know how much I love you, and I get concerned when I get heavy energy because out of love. This strength in your body feels like, not to say your body is not strong, but if we don't take good care of us, I, what a kind of message is this? Holy crap, okay, spirit, but I'm giving it to him. If you don't take care of your body properly, getting the right rest, I need to blow my nose. <laughs> you know, it can really wear on our mental ability. It can really wear on our, well, obviously physical, but even emotional. So again, strengthening your body. I feel like this is all about getting rest, Sag. We're gonna go one more. And then we have silver, be persistent. 27, that is a nine. Nines usually are about, you know, coming to a closure, coming to an end of a cycle. Be persistent. Again, this I don't know what this is about, but again, this is not about giving up. This is about really kind of using your beautiful determination to keep going. Um, okay, let's let's put this back and see what the advice is for spirit, and then we'll get into the rest of your reading, Sag. Okay, spirit, please show me what color is going to be very beneficial for Sagittarius's highest good here. All right, let's begin. And if we could get one card, one card for beautiful Sagittarius. Thank you for all of your comments and your sweet sweet love, Sag. You don't even know how much that makes a difference in my life because it really, really, truly does. Okay, yeah, this is interesting. We have the pearl, beautiful, connect to the divine, number 25. So pearl, if any of you have pearls, maybe wear it. Um, again, you don't have to. I don't know how you'd get this kind of color. Maybe some of you are artists and you have pearl as, as one of your paints. Um, but nevertheless, it is about connecting to the divine. Number seven for me is, yes, this can be about luck, prosperity. Also, the other flip side of it, how I read it with my guides, is sevens is a contemplation energy. <laughs> it's really weighing things up, looking at the full picture and, and, and not pretending and not hiding, um, not being, how can I say this? It's about being very truthful with yourself, seeing what works and what is not working. Um, there's something here I feel Spirit is actually asking. This feels very personal to me. Um, really asking you to look at that. Really look at that, Sag. Again, it's going to be different for everyone, but they're also asking you to connect to the divine. So God, source, you know, your angels, your guides, um, loved ones who are on the other side watching over you, asking for their help, <coughs> asking for their input, but also leaning into trusting that you're going to be taken care of. I'm hearing that as well. Because Sag, we have gray on the bottom, and this is learn to scan your body. When this card comes out, and it does not come out that often, it's number 29, so that is an 11. Um, so that is a spiritual number. Look it up. It's a master number. It's really about your angels, guides, what it is you believe in, um, them being there, letting you know that you're on the path, that they're watching over you, guiding you. Um, but when this card comes out, this makes me pause. Not about freaking anyone out or any of that kind of stuff, but again, this is going back with the energy that I was feeling, like time to have a nap, time to get some rest, time to even just put your feet up and listen to the birds sing for an hour, cut your brain off, because I feel sad. Um, I just feel like this is Spirit's way of saying you've got to get strong physically here. Again, not saying that you're not, but this is, obviously this reading is not going to be for everyone, right? It's for the collective, so... You know, it's only going to resonate with some of you. Learning to scan your body, listening to what your body is telling you. Often, our mind, our brain, as beautiful as it is, can really wear our body out. Um, I just want to put this aside so I can concentrate on this energy. They don't want me to look at that, so we won't. <coughs> um, learning to scan your body. Have, because right now, can you remember when I was just, I, at the very beginning of this reading, I was massaging my shoulders? 
Um, like my shoulders aren't sore, but I feel like someone out there, your shoulders are really sore. Your neck is very tight. I feel like that is a sign that you are carrying a lot of stress and we got to release it, Sag. We got to release that so that your body is working all beautiful so that you can handle everything that comes towards you. Um, again, if there's anything else, because I'm not, I do not give medical advice, legal advice, any of that stuff, not at all. But if there's anything that you are um, even emotionally caring right now, um, because I'm getting that stressed feeling, talk to God, talk to angels, ask them to help you, to help build up your strength, okay? Mentally, physically, spiritually, all of it, okay? So learn to scan your body, because there's a lot of answers that lie within our body um, that connect us to all parts of us, right? Body, mind, and soul, okay? I feel like that's where they want me to leave this part, so we're going to do that. We're going to go into a wisdom, yes, wisdom oracle, okay. All right, Sag. So again, not heavy. This is a reminder. I know you, Sag. I know Sag's work their ass off. You guys will go and go and go and go. You remind me even of a horse. A horse, if spooked or if there's something going on, they will run and run. They can run themselves to death. So that's not what I'm saying here, but I am saying there's an energy around you that you got to take a breath, my love. You got to take a breath. Because also I feel in this energy that Spirit's given me, that you may be missing out on things that could really bring you more pleasure and um, almost kind of calm because I'm feeling heart rate going, boom, 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 boom. Um, so again, take it if it resonates, but this is a message of really doing good and doing right by yourself, by you, okay? All right, spirit, wow. Okay, <clears throat> we have poised on the bottom. I love this energy. It's number 48, that is a 12. So there is that three when you add that up, body, mind, and soul. Um, all right, poised. This is good energy. This is excitement. This is receiving good, no, good news, something that makes you want to get up and jump for excitement. So on the bottom, this is very powerful. So poised, something good coming in. We have to be fair next, which is 38. Oh, okay, 38 is an 11 as well. I had to add, <laughs> had to add for a second. Um, so two cards of 11. To be fair, Sag, this is balance coming in. This is beautiful things coming in again, but also please take this with that, taking good care of yourself, bringing balance into your life, not putting so many hours into work, but not giving any hours into yourself, not giving everything to everyone else around you and excluding yourself. This is a strong message <laughs> because perhaps there's something coming in for you. Um, for those of you that are working or something, maybe it's a big pay raise, maybe it's a higher position being offered. This could be something big, okay, coming in that you're gonna need your energy to be able to celebrate. Okay, so to be fair, we have deep knowing next, which again is number seven, it's 43, it's a seven. No, this is connecting to, it's connecting to the gray. You already know everything I'm saying, so if you think I'm preaching, this is coming from my angels, but you have a deep knowing, you know that there's beautiful things happening for you that are coming towards you, but again, you gotta be able to receive it. We have Imagine next to, which is all about dream state. It is about, pay attention to your dreams too, Sag. Imagine is about really dreaming, bringing your dreams into reality. Um, being able to daydream, be able to enjoy that part of ourselves, you know? That is a part of manifesta manifesting. But at the same time, there's something here with these cards There's beautiful things here on the horizon, but I don't want you to miss it. That's what I'm feeling, Sag. Perhaps you've gone through something quite harsh lately and um, it's taken a lot of your energy in all areas and maybe you're not able to see or even be able to believe at this moment that beautiful things are here for you. Okay, I know it's an interesting, an interesting message, um, but I am just the person that is receiving the messages and giving it to you. So let's see what spirit has. Okay, what is this about, please, spirit? What is this message about for those Sagittarius is that this is their message?
Okay, okay, thank you. I, I gotta give you this as I was shuffling there, giving me something with the gray here too. Um, learn to scan your body. They gave me the energy. It's interesting. I was just talking with some loved ones uh, not that long ago about this exact same thing. Um, this can be also talking about being paying attention to the people that are around you um, because they're giving me this energy of, you know how sometimes you can be around a certain person and even if it doesn't make sense logically, you can't put the pieces together. There's an energy that comes from them that makes you feel a certain way. Um, the person, people that I was just talking to, oh my gosh, my nose is so itchy. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> we were talking about, um, you know, kind of this is more of a childhood thing that some of us have gone through. Um, that, you know, if there's a certain person around you that you almost kind of subconsciously feel like you need to ask their permission. I'm just saying this is the example. Feel like you need to ask their permission when in fact, logically, you know, you don't. They, they don't have any power over you. They don't have any authority over you. But it's connected to something that you went through usually from a childhood experience, right? It's usually that part when we were children, we're not able to grasp it to be able to make sense of it. Um, so often we carry those wounds with us. Learn to scan your body. This is probably for only one or two of you, but if there's a person that's around you that consistently there's a feeling that you receive that is feeling more contrast, more lower vibration, pay attention to that because sometimes other people's energy can really affect our own, right? So, so I, that was that's only for probably a couple of you, but they gave that to me. Okay, let's see what card came out. Peace, wow, beautiful. Peace. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much, Spirit. You are about to step into a time of peace, Sagittarius. It's number 23, so it is a five. There is change coming towards you. Let's see what's on the bottom. Higher power. Oh, this is such a divine reading right now. Higher power. And we have connected to the divine, right? Pearl. Ooh, your angels and guides and God and source and all above are speaking very strong in this reading. I am feeling chilled. <sighs> okay. So Sag, we have the card peace. As I said, it's 23, that is a five. So five is this change. I don't feel right here right now, um, and maybe for some of you, I feel like this is where you are headed. There's going to be peace coming into your life. But I do want to say that I feel that it has been quite rocky on some degree here. Um, prior. So peace. I love that the Spirit is giving this right to you because it is about healing your heart. It is about finding groundedness. Um, and again, it is the egg, right? Not all these cards have an egg, but when it does, it is eggs represent abundance to me. They represent a brand new life, right? When you think when that egg is cracked, you know, there's new life, right? Think about that little bird. The little, they're just giving me the, the Robin's bird or Robin's egg right now. Wow, that's so beautiful color of blue, hey, um, in Robin's eggs, beautiful. <clears throat> there is a, a big shift happening here. Also, I do feel with this card, Spirit is asking you to almost like, almost like search for peace. I know that kind of sounds a little crazy, but they're, they're asking for you also to put the energy into calling peace into your life. Okay, we'll see when we get into tarot how this is playing out, but this is a pretty strong card. Along with higher power, they want me to put it here, so we will. Higher power, so that's number four. Four is about your foundation. The stuff, energetically, physically, all of that, that you can stand on, that is a firm, solid ground. It's higher power. So whatever you believe in, right? It does not matter, whatever you believe in, they're asking you to turn into that energy. Again, trust, trusting. Trusting no matter where you are on this path at this time, there is divine energy working with you. Now, when I show you this card, you'll see there's quite a few little um, angel faces. The one on the top, I'm going to try and point out, there is a key in the third eye, right? The third eye. So again, this is also even with that, why am I feeling like you really got to listen to your intuition as well? I'm getting that. Um, well, we should all be listening to it as much as we can. But there's something about... I'm just trying to find the right words here. I'll show it to you. Here, I'm, I always hold it better with my right hand. <clears throat> hopefully you can see that. It's a key. Don't know how clear that is for you, but hopefully you can make it out. Did we not have a reading not that long ago about keys? This can be connected to that reading. I don't remember it, but they're, they're connecting it for me that there's keys in, involved as well. <sighs> there's something that... Okay. 
So Sag, I, okay. So third eye, right? This is where this is where everything we can tap into and see, and it's our intuition, and it's you know it's that inner guidance system. It is connected, I believe, to like my angels and guides, etc. There's something here that almost feels like it's been blocked. Something maybe subconsciously that's been blocked. Yet, I do feel it's going to be exposed. You're going to see it. Okay, so this could be even involving another person. Okay, something being brought to your attention here. Okay, wow. Strong energy. Let's get into the tarot. Um, I don't know where I feel called to today. Let's... Let's try the light series deck. I'm not sure. Kind of feeling also the um, the spirit animal deck and the just traditional. So I'm not getting a strong. Okay, let's just see. All right, spirit. Thank you so much for guiding me in this reading. All right. Well, we have the four of wands on the bottom side. This is beautiful energy. This is celebration. For some of you, it can be a marriage card. This could be talking about a relationship contract, deep committed relationship. Again, romantic or otherwise. Four of Wands is celebration, though. This is like joy, happy times. It's the four, it's one, 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 right? Okay, ooh, grabbed another card there. So, something beautiful. We have the Six of Wands next. Okay, so this is your energy. It's Aries and Leo. Six of Wands, victory. Victory. Why am I spit? I'm saying these words weird today. Okay, um, victory. Um, again, celebration. But this is like being seen, being appreciated, even being... Um, rewarded, gifted, right? Um, for what you have pulled through and what you have accomplished. We have the High Priestess, Pisces card. This is, a, this is your intuition. Really listening into your, leaning into your intuition. What is it telling you to do? What is it guiding you to do here? We have Nine of Pentacles, beautiful energy of finances, resources, <coughs> even self-confidence. Um, Earth, so it's Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. But this is an energy of being able to be self-reliant and standing on your own two feet and feeling really good about yourself. Again, this is, I don't know, hopefully it makes sense to those of you that this is your reading. <clears throat> Lately, I feel like the messages are coming through. They're very, very full messages. But we have the Nine of Swords next. So Taurus, or, sorry, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now we have the Nine of Swords, which is our air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is... Anxiety. This is depression. This is being overwhelmed. Um, this can be talking about so much stress and so much worry, Sag, that you're not even able to sleep. Again, let's go back to the gray and the pearl. Learning to scan your body, paying attention to this stuff, and doing right by you. So I don't know what this is pertaining to. It's going to be different for every single one of you out there. But there seems to be... Um, this energy on this card feels quite heavy right now versus these. I just want to say to you that because if there's something, there's nine of pentacles, nine of swords, nines. Nine of pentacles if we're not talking about resources and money and all of that, if we're talking about the self-confidence. Um, I, I, you are good enough, Sag. You're more than good enough. You're beautiful. You're powerful. You're strong. You're intelligent. You're loving. We all fuck up in our lives. No one is fucking perfect here. No one. So I, I'm, I'm feeling this energy to say this. I don't know who needs to hear this. But again, it's like forgive yourself for whatever this may be. It's not all your fault, you know. Um, I don't get what this message is, but someone needs to hear this. We can always change the way that we move there's something I feel like you're giving yourself a really hard time okay Saji you gotta love yourself first before you can love anyone else okay let's see what spirit has Oof. all right all right spirit what is this message about for Sagittarius what is this message about for Saggy? The itch in my eye. I hope that you can, thank you, yeah, I'm just so perfect. King of Cups. 
<clears throat> I hope that whatever this is, you know, um, that you can recognize that when you're not feeling emotionally well, you're not feeling mentally strong in your, your strength, Sag, it can take a toll on our body, okay? And again, this isn't a warning or any of that. It's not that at all. This is an awareness that Spirit is wanting me to say to you, to whoever's needing to hear this. Okay, so we got the King of Cups that has come out. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, I read it Cancer, masculine side. Whew, this is the energy of really getting in touch with your emotions and your intuition. <clears throat> and again, I, it is forgiving yourself, knowing that you did the best that you could, knowing that you, you, you know, you're capable of many, many, many things. Um, at the same time, everything is not all on you. You're not responsible for every other freaking thing that everyone else does. I feel that the King of Cups showing up here is about you taking, nurturing yourself and taking some time for you. If you look at this card, he's sitting in water, he's cross leg, he's got one hand in his cup, he's, his eyes are closed, and he is peace. This can even talk about meditating, you know, going within, taking five minutes just to tune the rest of the bloody world out and getting connected to you, connected to your heart. Because, the, and this is very loving energy as well. For some of you, this could be a father figure that maybe is around, um, doesn't have to be. Could be a father figure that is important in some way that is telling you coming through, whether they're here or on the other side, coming through and telling you to love yourself better, love yourself more, be gentler on yourself, be kinder to yourself. Because we've got the eight of cups on the bottom. Wow, water energy. This is very emotional. And asking you to let go of the past. It doesn't serve you anymore. For a lot of you, this is maybe connected to upbringing, connected to uh, beliefs that were put upon you, self-beliefs that you have um, through life maybe have fostered into what you feel of yourself. It's time to let this go. Eight of Cups is about walking away from what no longer serves you. The cups are done. Those need to be left behind. And this is about walking towards the sun. Okay, I'm going to sneeze. Sag, I'm going to sneeze. Okay, so excuse me. I'm going to sneeze, make a wish. Oh, goodness. Oh, excuse me. Uh, bless us all. All right. So eight of, King of Cups with the Eight of Cups. Walking away, letting that go. Again, Sag, just can just even talk about someone being around you that you got to leave. you got to walk away. They're not, they don't do, they don't raise you up. Okay, I, 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 I'm just going to leave it there. There's a lot of energy coming through here. Okay, Spirit, what else would you like Sagittarius to know, please? Peace is on its way. Okay, wow. Peace is coming towards you. There is peace on the horizon, I want to say. But there's things that have to be let go. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands. That's how I, I read that as you. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Hierophant on the bottom. Beautiful. Okay. Queen of Wands. That's your energy. It's the feminine side. We all have masculine and feminine. You have to start loving yourself more, Saji. This is a real personal reading. I really do feel this. So that you can get back your mojo. So that you can get back into who Saji is. Who's Saji? Saji is that beautiful, vibrant energy that can create anything in this world that they desire. That creates magic in a room that is the laugh is contagious where you go after your dreams and your passions and you know that you can make them successful that's what queen of wands is also protecting your energy queen of wands doesn't give her energy to everyone we have the knight of wands next which i absolutely love these two cards together which is the energy, as I said of you, it's that adventure, it's the spontaneity that, that makes you who you are. Maybe some of you have gotten so far away from doing anything that feels pleasurable. Maybe you've gotten so far away from doing anything that brings you joy. Perhaps life has just become this dull, humdrum, one series after another series of chores and responsibilities and da 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 well, that is putting out your flame, Sag. The Knight of Wands is about embracing your passion and just everything that makes you, you. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. 
big energy here because if this is about finances, if this is about stability, it, it, this is saying spirit is saying you've got that. It's here. It's, it's here or it's coming. Another way that I'm getting the Sag is that this, because it's pentacles, right? So the Ten of Pentacles is usually, whoo, that's like a lot of money. It's winning the lottery. It's getting the inheritance, et cetera, et cetera. And that could be it too, for sure. Side note, though, that this can be talking about something connected to your family, right? Your immediate family, your whatever you would consider family. Then we have the beautiful Hierophant on the bottom. Five as well, so change. But the Hierophant is Taurus's card. This is, you've learned what you've needed to learn. You've now tapped into all of that beautiful knowledge, and you are able to celebrate now. You're able to take that as you move forward, which brings peace into you, into your life, into your heart, into your soul. We never stop learning, of course. There's always going to be things that test us. This feels like spirit is saying, okay, Sag, now is the time to drop the weapons. You know? Now is the time to just, okay, release yourself from whatever has been keeping you feeling worn out, tired, depressed, whatever that is for you. Release it and embrace peace. We even have the Three of Pentacles next. So that is about talking about collaboration, things coming together, right? Again, this can be even because we're working on this tapestry. So again, even in that kind of way, it can be talking about bringing your heart, your body, your mind back together, you know, in the alignment that it is meant to be. We have the Empress next. Wow. I mean, again, Taurus's card. Maybe a lot of you have Taurus um, placements. Maybe you have been dealing with a Taurus or something. But Sag, again, the Empress, nurturing, loving yourself, being very abundantly, um, receiving a lot of abundance. But again, this is that loving yourself. And her belly is uh, pregnant, so it's like representing closing one cycle out so that you can have the new one. You know the Ten of Wands next, which is releasing all that has been keeping you weighted down. <clears throat> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's stay with this deck, I feel. Yeah, let's stay with it for a bit. Okay, Spirit. So what would you like Sagittarius to know as they move forward? The Two of Cups. Okay, let's just get that one out. The Two of Cups with the Hermit. This can be speaking of you and another person coming back together and having beautiful harmony and peace and love, right? Two of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. <clears throat> Ironically, this is interesting because we have the Hermit on the bottom, which is Virgo's energy. But the Hermit is all, it's a solitary energy. It's about going within. For some of you, maybe this is also part of the healing as you have to go within really because you got to heal yourself with whatever needs to be released or healed, right, Sag? In order to come back to whole. That's what I'm feeling here. Okay. All right, Spirit. What else? Like the answers reside on you. You may need to take some time out away from everyone, Sag. You may need to <clears throat> go away for an hour, a day, a week, whatever. Go within. Give yourself that break. I don't know what this message is meant for. Um, I don't know who this is meant for, but it's quite a strong, powerful um, vibration that Spirit has given me here. Okay. All right, Spirit. Thank you so much for guiding me in this reading for Sagittarius. What else can you tell Sagittarius for those that this is their reading? What else would you like them to know? i just seen the Empress once again. Okay. You have the devil. Okay. Thank you. And that just kind of hit me. All right. So the devil. <clears throat> Capricorn's energy. In a weird way, I kind of felt that this card was going to come out. So the devil is that energy, Sag, that is toxic. It is restrictive. It can be manipulation, it can be narcissism, it can be addictions. Basically, the devil can be that energy of very low, difficult, hard energy to break away from. 
So for some of you, this is talking, Spirit is saying there's things that you have to heal within yourself. You have to break away from the devil part. Yes, we all have shadow sides, right? Sometimes that can take over a little bit more. Depends on what wounds we carry. Depends on how we heal, how we don't heal. If there's a wound that we have within ourselves and we don't look at it and we don't, we don't, we don't allow ourselves to try to heal it and to release it, it can just fester and fester and fester. And it can show up in very um, destructive ways. And that's what I'm feeling here with the devil. Now, again, I will say this could be representing someone else in your life, for sure, that is representing someone that is somehow on some energetical level playing with you, keeping you from being um, able to really live and be who you are. But the devil showing up, however it is, it is in this reading, so it is about breaking free from this, whatever this is. Page of Wands, on, sorry, Page of Swords on the bottom. Communication, you know, can often be opportunities, offers coming in, but in this reading, this is communication. I'm feeling almost at a certain point here that this is, the words have to be spoken, truth has to be said. Okay, thank you, Spirit. They just said, look at the book. So I'm looking at the book, right? There's just lines there, but it's representing supposedly, you know, words, paragraphs that are there. For some of you that are dealing with something that has keep, kept peace away from your heart, um, that has affected you on some level here, learning to scan your body. A beautiful exercise they're giving me to give to you is to write letters. Write letters as many as you need to to whoever needs to, to that you need to expel from you because we have the Three of Swords here, right? Broken heart, devastation. This, this energy can last a lifetime if we don't, if we don't take our power back and heal it, right? Because that's what they're giving me here. So they're saying like, so say this is something here that is really kind of stunted happiness and joy and great love and, you know, all of that. And you don't, you, maybe the person who, the perpetrator I'm hearing, uh, whatever way that is, doesn't want to hear it or maybe they're not here anymore or you don't know where they are, whatever it is. Maybe it's the, the childhood bully. I don't know. Write them a letter expressing exactly how you feel. Express also calling, taking your power back from it. You don't ever have to send it. But this is a very symbolic way of cutting cords, cutting contracts. Burn it, rip it, soak it in water. I don't know, whatever, you, whatever feels connected to you. That's going to break whatever this is. Okay, because that's what they're giving me for the Page of Swords. And look, we do have that, as I said, Three of Swords is next. <clears throat> so this is energy that can affect everything in our lives if we don't release it and again I know it's not easy Sag I'm not trying to make this easy you know I've, I, I'm on my own journey too and I've gone through a lot of shit in my life too but it really is about connecting with yourself about calling your power back you are who you are and no one in this whole entire bloody world can make you anything that you don't want to be and we have that ten of swords underneath the three of swords so it may be very painful. Allow yourself to cry. Allow yourself to punch a pillow. You know, don't do anything crazy. Punch a pillow. It's soft. It won't hurt you, nor will it hurt the pillow. Go into some quiet place if you have anywhere. Scream into a pillow. Whatever it is, I'm telling you there's something that has to be released here. So, um, yeah, because we even have that seven of wands next, which is kind of feeling defensive here. Okay, your cards here. Judgment, temp temperance. Okay, I hope this is making sense. It's not going to be for everyone, but for those of you that resonate with this, know that I'm sending you so much love and I'm reminding you of your power and calling it back because this is where you're meant to be. Okay, anything else, Spirit for Sagittarius? Anything else that you would like them to know? Remember, this kind of came out sideways, so we're going to leave it sideways. <clears throat> Anything else? Can you tell Sagittarius where they're headed? Give them some insight. Mm -hmm. Deck is feeling pretty empty now. Okay, let's go three times. Oh, this jumped into my hand. Okay, all right, wow. We have the King of Pentacles, we've got the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom, we've got the Chariot sticking out as well. Okay. <clears throat> we'll take this. <clears throat> Can you
King of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. Again, this is reminding of the Two of Cups. You know, and this could be you coming back to someone who, or, you know, you and someone coming back together, okay? <clears throat> I can't possibly cover every scenario here because there's a lot of, there's a lot that are go is going in and coming in towards me. <clears throat> Excuse me. The King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. Sag, they have done the work. They have let go of what no longer serves them. They are comfortable in who they are. They accept themselves. They love themselves. They nurture themselves. And they are very, very secure. Financially, they're also very well off because it's worked for them, right? They've made it through all the trials, the tribulations. And that is where now they are sitting in just a solid, safe place. That is what is going to be coming for you. That is where you're headed. That is what Spirit is saying you can have. And again, this is very beautiful energy. It's not even non it's not judgmental. It's kind of like releasing and re releasing all of that stuff and then being able to kind of go, you know what? It's done. It's done. I feel very relieved. I feel very stable. And I find, I see the blessings. The Chariot, Cancer's card showing up. Again, this is another major arcana. This is success. This is success and again, driving your life in the direction at the speed that you want. Okay, that's where I feel like we're going to leave this reading. Pretty deep. You have so much divine protection and guidance around you. This is something that will change your life, but for the better... It's going to take a little work, but Sag, it's so worth it. Okay, I have to blow my nose one more time. Whew. Very deep breathing, very. All right, Sagi, I love you so much. I hope that this helps you. I hope this helped. But, you, but again, remember, peace, because I do feel intuitively spirit is saying you are not at peace right now. Okay, you know. Not in that way that feels so deep in the soul. Again, this is for those of you that this is your reading, that you're resonating with. Okay, peace and higher power. Incredible. All right, let's close your reading off. We're going to go to Treasures from Takashi. I love you, my love. I love you. This is where you got to get back to. Okay. We have freedom on the bottom. Oh, wow. Okay, spirit. Whew. I can't explain how it feel, what that feels like in my body. It's very tingly. It's just almost like a cold. Not cold, though. Like, not in a bad way. But it's kind of just... Whew, like almost someone just blowing. A little, a little breeze. Okay, it says, Choose to free yourself from your self-inflicted limitations. Holy shit. Did not know this was on the bottom. Freedom is a state of being on the inside. You are always free, and there is no need to go looking for it. There are no obstacles in your way now, so begin something new. Look to the future and stand proud and free. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Oh my gosh, okay, spirit. I love you, spirit. I love you. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this and guiding me in this readings for Sag. Okay, is there any final message you have? piece of advice or guidance for Sagittarius. Okay, wow. Two fell out. Wow. We have consideration. We've got three, so hope you stick around till the end so I can read this to you. We have consideration. Pay attention. Let nothing move past without your examination. Be reflective and do not make any hasty decisions. Many special moments are unfolding for your attention. If you carefully look at what brought you to this now moment, you will see how much yourself deserves your loving consideration. Okay, we have inspiration. The river of all knowing allows every possibility to be open to you. Allow yourself to tap into this vastness. <clears throat> be inspired by the beauty that surrounds you. Be inspired to open yourself to the riches the world has to offer. In any moment, you can allow inspirational thinking to set you free. 
Which moment will you choose? A lot of words of freedom here. And finally, Saji, we have caring on the bottom. Spirit is not joking, my love. Spirit is not joking. It is time to care for you. Lovingly take pleasure in your positive attributes. Do not deny your needs. Take care of yourself. Caring for others must be backed up by doing what is needed for yourself first so that you are able to continue caring. Your guides are watching over you at this time. You are cared for and loved. Sag. Sag, how beautiful. Spirit, how beautiful. And then we have adventure next. So that is what is waiting, okay? That is what is waiting. All right, sweetheart. This is where we're gonna close your reading off. It is my deep hope that this helped those of you that this is your reading. If it's not your reading, you don't need to let me know. It's not gonna be for everyone. I love you so very much. I truly hope that this reading helps you to release what needs to be released. I hope it also reminds you to take care of yourself. Okay, Saji. Big, tight, tight hug. I hope you can feel it. I love you. I wish you a peaceful day, peaceful week, peaceful life. Thank you for being here, and um, I'll see you next time, all right? Stay well, my love. Stay well.